employed and self-employed alike use our public services in the same way, but they are not paying for them in the same way. The lower national insurance paid by the self-employed is forecast to cost our public finances over £5 billion this year alone. This is not fair to the 85% of workers who are employees. The abolition of Class 2 NICs for self-employed people, announced by my right hon. Friend, the Member for Tatton, in 2016 and due to take effect in 2018, would further increase the gap between employment and self-employment. To be able to support our public services in this budget and to improve the fairness of the tax system, I will act to reduce the gap to better reflect the current differences in state benefits. I have considered, Mr Deputy Speaker, the possibility of simply reversing the decision to abolish Class II contributions. But the Class II NIC is regressive and outdated. It is absolutely right that it should go. So instead, from April 2018, when the Class II NIC is abolished, the main rate of Class IV NICs for the self-employed will increase by 1% to 10%, with a further 1% increase in April 2019.